Yo, what's up everybody, it's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the Motorola Moto X40, also known as the Edge 40 Pro. Now what's the difference between the two? Nothing, just the name. One is the Chinese version, one is the global version. This is the Chinese one, I picked it up from Giztop. The price that I paid on this one is 550 bucks. And let me say this, at 550 bucks, this might be the deal of the year. This is easily Motorola's best phone to date. Now I know somebody's gonna say, what about the Moto Edge 30 Ultra with that 200 megapixel camera? This one is pound for pound, even better. All right, so let's go through the specs real quick. Now this one comes in two different colors. You got black and blue. For the display, you got a 6.7 inch OLED panel with a resolution of 1080 by 2400. Now that's 394 for the PPI Patrol. The phone is IP68, dust and water resistant, you got Gorilla Glass Victus on the front and on the back with an aluminum frame. You got HDR10+, plus, up to 1200 nits brightness, and a 165 hertz refresh rate. I repeat, 165 hertz refresh rate. For the processor, you got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Generation 2 with the Adreno 740 GPU. Now what does that mean in English? Flagship specs, bro, flagship specs. Now you got eight or 12 gigs of RAM, 128, 256 or 512 gigs of storage, no micro SD card slot for expandable memory. Now it's running Android 13 with my UI 5.0 skin on top. Now check this out. You got a 4,600 milliamp battery that features 125 watt fast charge. So that means you can charge this phone from zero to 50% in seven minutes and zero to 100% in 23 minutes. Now you also got 15 watt wireless charge and five watt reverse wireless charge. For the cameras, on the rear you got a triple setup. So you got a 50 megapixel wide angle lens, 50 megapixel ultra wide, and a 12 megapixel telephoto lens. Now you can shoot 8K video at 30 frames per second and 4K video at 60 frames per second. On the front, you got a 60 megapixel wide angle lens and you can also shoot 4K video at 60 frames per second. Now you got dual stereo speakers, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, NFC, you got peak display, face unlock, on-screen fingerprint sensor, and Motorola's ready for experience. All right, so all of that for 550 bucks, what's missing? There's no quad HD display, no expandable memory, no headphone jack, that shit's whack, hashtag bars, and my biggest disappointment, no always on display. Other than that, for 550 bucks, this is a beast. Okay, this is an absolute flagship phone, certified beast. All right, so let's unbox it and see what it is. First things first, shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. White shoes. shoes. I Calm down. Okay, here we go. Moto X40. Now, like I said, this is exactly the same as the uh, Edge 40 Pro. Same phone. Okay, classic Motorola presentation. Nothing fancy. This is going to be a device. We'll leave that for a second. Let's see what else you get. Okay. This is going to be a case. I like to see that. Now, you got your usual books and shit. Pluck them and file them. Let's see what kind of case we got. Okay. Nice blue case. Little Moto Brandon. Simple enough. You got a SIM ejection tool. We're going to test this out in a minute. This is going to be, let's see, USB-A. No matter of fact, this is USB Type-C. USB Type-C charging cable. And look at this. Ladies and gentlemen, the charger is in the box where it belongs, okay? Fast charging brick in the box. Now for the actual device. Little plastic on the back, let me just peel this off. Little sticker struggles. Hold up, y'all. Okay, let me wipe it down. Bang, here it is. Moto X40. Now this is the blue version. Like I said, it also comes in black. Beautiful device. Now let me also say this. I know a lot of people think 120 hertz refresh rate, 144, 165, ah, it's all the same. No, it's not. This is arguably one of the smoothest phones that I've used yet. When you're scrolling and uh, browsing the apps, browsing the internet, you know, just going crazy, you're gonna feel the difference. It is super smooth and super fast. All right, so let me set everything up, delete my browsing history, and then we'll walk through the OS. 
Talk amongst yourselves. All right, so one more thing I forgot to say. Samsung, Google, Apple, pay attention. Fast charging brick in the box, 125 watts. Now, they are not playing. I did my test off camera. Zero to 100% for me took 27 minutes. Now, that's not as fast as the Realme phone that charges up in about 12 minutes. But still, this is a shit shower and shave phone. Zero to 50%, seven minutes. Zero to 100%. It took me 27 minutes. All right, y'all, so we back in. First, let me address one of the main comments that I get all of the time whenever I review Chinese phones. People say, look, I like these phones, I like the prices, but they don't work in the USA. Now look, I can't speak for every carrier, I can only speak for the carriers that I use, which are mainly AT&T and T-Mobile, and they absolutely work. Now on my Oppo video, somebody asked me that same question. So look, let's go ahead and test it out. I'm gonna call this phone right now from one of my trap phones. And you see it's ringing. Okay, so this one works perfectly fine, full 5G service. I don't know if y'all can see that. It says 5G at the top. So let's do this in real time. Now I'm not calling any service providers. I'm just gonna take out this SIM. Okay, pop this out. Bong just like that. <laughs> Why do I always say just like that after I say bong? I don't know. Let's get him pop this one in. Okay. We got a little sim. We're gonna slap this in. No editing. No tricks. Okay. Let's get and turn the Wi-Fi off and see what happens. Okay, you see 5G just popped up. Now I went to 4G. But I am in my basement. Let's go ahead and do a little test phone call. Okay. Shoes. Hello, and there it is. Okay. Hello, let's hang up. Now let's try to return that phone call. Okay. Trying to hide my number. <laughs> Even though who cares, this is a trap number. And look at that. Phone is ringing. Let's try the internet. Let's go to Google. You see, I'm on 4G. This is Google. Let's click on the. Uh, let's click on something. Let's see. Let's hit reload. There it is. Internet browser working fine. Let's let's try something else. Go to YouTube. See if we can watch a video. Okay. The Dante Show. And there it is. Okay. These phones definitely work in the USA. No issues at all. All right, so now let's talk about the weight of this phone. This is one of the thinnest and lightest phones around. Drop it on the scale. This is 202 grams. Now for comparison, here's the Oppo Find X6 Pro. This is 218. And look at the iPhone 14 Pro Max. 254. So this is definitely a thin and light phone. All right, so now let's talk about the build quality and design. This phone looks sleek and sexy. You got Gorilla Glass 5 on the front and on the back, aluminum frame. Okay, you got your power button, nice and low, where it belongs, volume up and down, right above that. On the top, you got a speaker grill and a mic, little Dolby Atmos. These speakers definitely sound loud and good. Other side, nice and clean. On the bottom, SIM tray, USB Type-C charging slot, and your speaker grill. Now you got frosted glass on the back. That makes this phone feel so good in the hands. Ladies, you know the procedures. There's your triple camera setup, LED flash, little punch hole camera in the front. Now, I can nitpick this phone to death, but at 550 bucks, you really can't complain, but there's one thing that I just don't like. No always on display. Now you got the peak display, which works great, but wireless charge and always on displays, they go hand in hand. You got a wireless charger like this and you got your phone on the dock next to your bed. You want to be able to look over and see the town. Okay, you don't want to have to touch anything. Here's how it's going to look right now while it's wirelessly charging. Wireless charge and always on displays, they go hand in hand. But this does have the Moto Peak display. Let me show you how that works. All right, so I'm going to turn the phone off. Once you move it or touch it, let me let, let, me, let, me let it cool off. Hold up. <laughs> All right, cool off. 
Once you move it or touch it, that pops up. Now all I gotta do is press on the uh, notifications and I can read them. Okay, so you see right now I got a Nest notification. Okay, we got a weather alert and a Google security alert. Now this would have been so much better if you had an option to make it stay on. But it is what it is. Moto been doing this for years with the Peak Display and they do it great. Now there's a couple of different ways you can open up the device. You can swipe up, put in your pad and your pin. Next, you got face unlock. Bong. You see how fast that works? Bong. Let's do one more. There it is. And you got your on-screen fingerprint sensor, which works unbelievably fast. Okay, they stepped it up with the biometrics. Now this is the Chinese version, but not too much Chinese bloatware. So you swipe over, you got a bunch of different uh, uh, widgets. Okay, so I got the weather widget. Let me say it again, the weather, what did I say, the weather widget? <laughs> you got the weather widget. Okay, you got a bunch of clocks. You got device info. I can just clean up the memory real quick. One button, there it is. Suggested apps. You got your shortcuts, okay? So that's gonna be your uh, payments and your uh, sc uh, scanners and all that. Commute suggestions, exercise, and your deliveries. Real nice. Now, a lot of Chinese phones, when you swipe over, it's a whole bunch of Chinese bloatware apps. Let's see, let me add more. Okay, look, nice and clean. Now, the My UI, this might be one of my favorite OS's, okay? Actually, skins, my favorite skins on top of the Android OS. Let me say that correctly for y'all nerds out there. Now you swipe down, you got all your quick toggles. Let's talk about a few. You got Ready For. Now Ready For is similar to Samsung DeX. So that means you can pair this up to a monitor, a tablet, a laptop, a TV, and get your phone experience. You can even add a mouse and a uh, keyboard. Let's see anything else. Uh, you got your mic access, NFC, flashlights, battery saver, screenshots. Let's see anything else we need to see. Nah, 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 nah. Okay, that's pretty much it. Calculator, gift makers, live caption. Pretty much it. Let's take it over to settings on the bottom. Okay, personalized. Don't need that. Navigation. Okay, so let's see. Bluetooth devices. That's your NFC. Now, as you're ready for, you can use that Bluetooth. So, ready for, this is ready for 3.0. Remember when uh, Motorola first came out, ready for, you needed to use a cable. Now you can use Bluetooth. So they're getting closer to Samsung wireless decks. Let's go to connected devices. Okay, that's what I wanted to show you. Um, -da -da -da. Okay, NFC, screencast, printing, Chromebook. Everything's on deck. Let's go to personalization. No always on display, but you do have some other options. You got a bunch of different themes. And look how clean this OS is. And one more thing I wanted to mention. Like I was saying earlier with the 165 hertz refresh rate, the feeling of this phone, just scrolling and using everything, it feels like butter, okay? It feels like taking a warm butter knife and cutting it through some butter. It just, everything just moves super fast and it just feels smooth. It just feels crazy. Got a bunch of different fonts. Okay, let's go ahead and change that one. Why not? Oh, no, I, 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 didn't, I didn't like that one immediately. As soon as I changed it, I didn't like it immediately. <laughs> All right, so we'll leave the classic Android. That's your font styles. Okay, you got different wallpapers. Let's see what I got for live wallpapers. Okay, you got a few. I like this one with the little smiley face. At least that's what it looks like to me. Exit out of that. Okay, you got icons, colors. Now you can change your fingerprint animations. Okay, now I've been rocking with this uh, chroma dial. That one looks pretty dope. Icon shape, display size. Got a bunch of different sounds. Okay, dark mode. You got edge lighting for incoming calls, alarms, and app notifications. Okay, home screen and all, let's see anything we need to see here. Nothing, okay, let's go to display. Okay, colors, now I got it saturated, but if you want to, you can manually adjust them. It's pretty accurate. Let's see, peak display, refresh rate. Now, if you put it on auto, that's gonna save battery. The battery on this is not the greatest, but having that super fast charging makes up for it. But if you wanna save battery, drop it to auto. You can even drop it to 60. But why not just leave it on 165 and get that smooth feeling? When you can charge your phone to 50% in seven minutes and fully charge it in under half an hour, leave it on 165, trust me. Okay, you got your edge lights. Everything is on deck. Let's go to, uh, let's see, anything we need to see here? Gestures and shortcuts. Now there's a bunch, three finger screenshots, double press, power beat. Let's see, double press the power. Let's turn that to the world star hip hop button. Okay. Fast flashlight, okay, that's the chop, karate chop. 
We always got to leave that on, <laughs> okay? Let's see anything else we need to see. Battery. Okay, now look, it's on 87%. Now I've been using it for a couple of hours. It's not the greatest, okay? But like I said, I use everything on max. Max refresh rate, max display settings, max brightness, everything. Let's see, accessibility. All right, if you're hearing or visually impaired, you got all your choices. Let's see, you got fingerprint sensor, face unlock, and you do got smart lock. Okay, and that's pretty much it to see. Let's see, system updates. Okay, now you got four years of updates, four years of security patches. Okay, this one is 12 gigs of RAM, 256. Okay, my UI 5.0. All of the specs right there. All right, so let's check the web browsing speeds. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn my Wi-Fi back on so we get the maximum effect. Go to apple.com. Okay, there it is. Now look how fast this is. I'm The scrolling speeds, you can't see it on camera, okay? But in real life, you're gonna be like, wow. The, just the way it feels, even with the display, because it kind of has a subtle curve, not too much curve, because I know I'm over these curved screens, but it just feels great. Now watch this. There's all my recently used apps. Let's go ahead and um, do a little split screen multitasking. Okay, and we'll do some, uh, let's see, do I have anything open on the bottom? No, let's do uh, Facebook on the bottom. Okay. So there's Facebook and Apple at the same time. I, Apple users, I shout out to the Apple Mafia. Y'all still can't do this, I know. It hurts y'all every time I do this. I hate to keep hurting y'all like that, but that's part of my job. All right, so now let's test out the dual stereo speakers with Dolby Atmos. We got the official Flossy Carter sound test by my homeboy, Mark Rubier. And on the side note, this is one of the things that impressed me about this phone straight out of the box. Listen to this. Yo, sound test. Time for sound test. Everybody the volume is loud. Sound test. Time to test that quality of sound test. How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound now? How's it sound now? Does it sound big? Does it sound loud? How's the bass, baby? How's the treble on it? How's it sound now? Okay, I'm gonna cover up the bottom. This is just the top. You hear how loud that is? Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Rebier. 550 bucks. <laughs> the speakers sound even better than the speakers on this $1,200 Oppo Find X6 Pro. Motorola is really winning. All right, so now let's take a look at this beautiful 6.7 inch OLED display. Remember, over 1200 nits brightness, 165 hertz refresh rate. Look at those viewing angles. This is amazing. Basically bezel-less. I love it. Look at that. All right, let's keep it moving. All right, so now let's do a little bit of gaming. Of course, I got Asphalt 9 queued up. And on the side note, you have a little built-in gaming suite. So if you press the button on the side, you can take screenshots, screen record, you can put it in lock mode, change the frames per second, go to all your settings. All right, here we go. Snapdragon 8, generation two. So you already know what that means. No lag. All right, let me stop playing around this stop. Y'all see me actually lose the other day? I'm coming for payback right now. Back up, sir. Boost in midair. I had to. I couldn't resist y'all. All right. Now that I'm in a comfortable lead, 
Now we can play around. There it is. Okay. So gaming on this phone works perfectly fine. And do y'all hear those speakers? <laughs> I'm not even over exaggerating. These speakers sound dope. All right, so now let's talk about the camera. Now, of course, you got your world star hip hop button. Press the power button twice. Bong, bring you right to your camera. All right, so let's go through the different shooting modes. You got slow motion. You got video. Now you can do wide angle all the way up to six times zoom. And for resolution, you got 8K at 60 frames per second and 4K at 60 frames per second on the front and on the back. That's pretty dope. Photos, you got wide angle all the way up to 16 times zoom. You got portrait mode, okay, standard and close up. You got pro mode, change your white balance, your shutter speed, your autofocus, and you got more. So you got spot color, night vision, panorama, ultra resolution, 50 megapixels. You got scan, slide scan, dual capture, front and back, time lapse, spot color, and dual capture video. All right, so let's take a look at these test pictures and videos for yourself. Thank you. 
Now let's do the RDA test, regular daily activities. Now you just spent 550 bucks on the phone. Let's see how it works in the real world. Now, one of the things that I'd like to check is the wired charge animation. Okay, you see that little lightning bolt shoot up? Nice colorful animation. Now let's drop it on the wireless charger. Same animation, but without the lightning bolt. I love it. Now here's where one of my gripes comes into play, the no always on display. When you got your phone on a charger like this, it would be nice to be able to see the time, the date, and your notifications without touching anything. All right, so you wake up in the morning, you got your phone, all you gotta do, once you take it off and you move it around, you're gonna get your peak display. Okay, got some YouTube notifications, okay, play games, weather alerts, and security alerts. All right, so let's go ahead and unlock it. Bong, fingerprint sensor works flawlessly. Let's check the weather. Okay, 88 degrees, now I was outside earlier. It is blazing hot, summertime is upon us. Okay, but we're going back to the 60s. <laughs> Let me not get too hype, all right? Springtime is still here. Exit out of that. Keep in mind, 165 hertz refresh rate, everything is gonna feel super smooth. Now it's running Android 13. So you see I got all my Android 13 widgets. Of course, one of my favorites. Okay, one of my favorite songs right there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Keep it moving. Let's do a little bit of work. Okay, let's uh, read some Gmails. Okay, let's actually reply. Got it. Oh, what else? Hit, <laughs> hit it. Okay, let's do got it. Got it. Bong. Send. All right, so that's my work emails. And look at that. Smooth refresh rate. Mm, love it. Exit out of that. Next, let's go to YouTube. All right, throw on a video so we can do some stuff in the background. Yo, what's up, everybody? Exit out of that. Back again with another and I got video. picture and picture. And today we're going to be testing out. Close that down. Okay, now let's go to Twitter. I haven't been on Twitter in a couple of days. Let's see if anybody's talking about me. <laughs> Get my emotions ready. Let's see. Oh, check that out. Oh, this is dope. This is dope. Now, old school cats like me, you see how excited I got? Y'all remember these um these notebooks that look like that? The composite books? Oh, I like that. I like that. that that's cute. Why did I get so hyped for that? Let me calm down. <laughs> How are the Sony XM4s or Sony XM5s? Anyone else? Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that in an upcoming video. Okay, let's see what's going down here. Let's see, new iPhone SE. Eh, pure trash, more Apple trash. Let's see. Okay, <laughs> let's see. I know your new favorite sports show is Power Slap. Yes, of course it is. Let's see. Um, <laughs> let's see. It's, okay, something. Okay, now I actually see. They got a new, a new slap show, but it's chicks slapping each other. <laughs> on that ass <laughs> bro bro my man right here shout out to my man uh johnny you know me well you know me well all right let's see anything else let's see i'm um, okay the earphone i did that video the other day let's see this is a wild thing da, da, da. oh my god right here this right here the anchor speaker that looks good i'm getting ready to get one of those fossil generation six smartwatch tyler okay we'll go ahead and check that out Okay, the app. That's how fast I'll be reading the Okay. Okay. Let's see. Now you could share share your tweets. Let's see. Just watch the video. Great design, great camera, scumbag, thought protection. I'll take two, please. Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. Right, let's see what Viper talking about. Let's see. Shout out to the OGs for paving the way. Shout out to my man Viper. I respect that, man. I respect that. You got to respect your elders here. Now, a lot of people was talking about the um, the Super Zoom, the fake moon right, from the Oppo video. Let me address that real quick, too. When I, when I brought that up, it really wasn't to show about the moon. Nobody cares about taking moon pics. That's gimmicky. That's artificial intelligence. That's all gimmicky. What I meant to show y'all was the zoom on the sign. Now, when I zoomed in, the Galaxy had better zoom on the sign at 100, uh, 100 times zoom. This has 120 times zoom. And I'm going to show you that same sign. Actually, you've seen it already. Matter of fact, let's, why not? Let's, let, me, let me pull it up. Let's pull up that same sign. This is when I do the sign test. Okay, you see the difference in that sign? Now, the Galaxy, this sign right here is super clear. The Oppo, it was clear too, but you see on these phones like this that don't have the super zoom, this is the best you're going to get to that sign. Now, I can actually make it out, but with the Galaxy and the Oppo, you could clearly read it. All right, so that's how your Twitter is going to look, and at any moment, if we want to, we could do a uh, split screen Twitter. Let's go ahead and split that. Okay, and uh, we'll do YouTube on the bottom. All right, so I can keep reading my tweets and I'm uh, watching some YouTube videos at the same damn time. Okay, so let's exit out of Twitter. 
okay? Again, there's the regular scrolling speed. I'm just trying to show you how the phone is gonna work in the real world. Take it over to Facebook. All right, let's, let me get my RIPs ready. Let's see if I can get one Facebook scroll without anybody um, passing away. See, look, soon as I, see, soon as I, soon as, soon as I say that, I always gotta see some RIP. This is why you don't, don't go on Facebook if you're depressed, yo, because you, you ain't gonna feel better. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. Bobby Brown, I know my cousin Tacy, Bobby Brown in real life, yo, he gonna need a restraining order. I don't know what she got. She got a Bobby Brown itis fetish. <laughs> she got Bobby, she got Bobby Brown itis. <laughs> I know, what is this, right? We out here setting trends. Come on, how, how could you punch somebody through a phone, yo? How could you do that? Sometimes you just wanna punch somebody through a phone. All right, anyway. So here's how your Facebook's gonna look. Now look at these scrolling speeds. Whew. I know I keep talking about this, but these are some of those things you gotta experience in real life and firsthand in order to really understand how dope this feels. All right, so that's Facebook. Next, take it over to TikTok. Now, of course, for TikTok, we have to lower this volume a little bit. Okay. Here's your TikTok. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Hold up. Let's see. Oh, okay, okay, little girl got them hands though. Little girl got them hands too. But my man showing no mercy. Damn, bro, give your sister, give your sister a break. Nah, but this is how you gotta train them though. This is how you gotta train your sisters that she can handle herself, yo. Yo, they throwing hands up in the crib, yo. Why I'm getting mad hype? If, if these was my two kids, I'll be back here like the ultimate hype man. I'll be like, let's go, let's go. <laughs> this is why I'm the number one dad right now. <laughs> I look at my girl now. So shout out to my girl. She made this right here. She made, she, my girl has a Super Mario Brothers fetish. <laughs> so of course I had to buy some Super Mario Brothers drawers, you know what I'm saying? You know, you, you, know, you gotta give them what they like, bro. Give them what they like. <laughs> I like there's Super Mario right here. Yeah, oh, that's Super Mario filter? That's pretty dirty. <laughs> that's it. They did them dirty like that. Okay, anyway. All right, so here's your TikTok. Okay, TikTok. Now this is my favorite. I need the volume for this. I need certain 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 videos you need volume. Hold up. Here we go. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, that wasn't even that bad. Uh-oh. Oh! 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 Wow. 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 And I like how they put the cricket sound after that first slap. Like, yeah, that didn't even phase him. Okay. My man Trump Nitty. I, AKA Trump Capone, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Doing his thing, you know what I'm saying? This is what it is, bro. All right, anyway. All right, so here's TikTok. Wow. I, I, I need to cover this. I don't need to, need to be looking at this kind of stuff, right? I'm supposed to be on the diet right now. See, you know what I'm saying? They, I'm supposed to be on the diet. This is this dude right here. This dude right here. He about to get KO'd. Jesus. Anyway, all right, so that's your TikTok. Now let's take it over to IG. Let's see what's going down on Insta. Okay, got a little Instagram notification. Let's see now. Let's see now. This is uh, somebody said trigger warning. This is how it looks in a prison cell. A a okay, now am I am I offended by this? No. Stop going to prison, bro. Yeah, I, if you it, look, this is a perfect example right here of, of a nice PSA, public service announcement. If you don't want your toilet to look like this, it's a simple it's a simple uh, way to not have this. Stop going to prison. All right, stop going to stop robbing people. Stop committing crimes. Okay, go out here, get a real job, and you ain't gotta live like this. I know. Trust me. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I, I look, if you get some, now don't get me wrong. At some point, you may have to go to prison by you know some fault that's not yours. But if just if you do, just I advise you to. <laughs> I advise you to <laughs> don't drop the soap. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not saying that to be funny. I'm not saying that to be funny. <laughs> Don't drop the soap. All right, let's see what else we get. All right, whack 100. Okay, let's understand this is the family show. Now, if y'all hear me go, huh, that's me saying this is the family show, but sometimes I say it fast, so it just comes out. Huh. Let's see. Um, okay, Fios. Okay, we got NDO champ. He getting ready to fight Roy Jones Jr. Now, this is going to this is gonna be an entertaining fight because I like this dude right here. I like this dude right here. He got a lot of energy. Very motivational kind of dude right here, yeah. Even though I think Roy Jones about to give him them hands, but you know you never know, cause you know what I'm saying the size don't really mean anything if you boxing somebody with hands. Yeah. Them hands gonna get you. You can't wrestle, not wrestle, wrestle. You can't be out here wrestling. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So here's how your Instagram. Is. Oh, now look. I'm about to. I'm about. To, I'm trying to find out if I get my house looking like this right here. <laughs> See, I need one of them houses like that. Okay, we got Cassidy. 
All right, anyway, so here's how your Instagram is going to... Here's how your Instagram is going to look. Look at Goob. Goob outside working out in public. Look, look at Goob, yeah. Look at my man Goob, yeah. Bro, this, that, that's, yo, that's three plates, bro. Picking up three plates to bench them without without the bench rack. This dude out here, this, yo, Goob out here wilding, yeah. Shout out to Goob, yeah. Now, let, let me see how you're going to get this down, yeah. Yo, this dude out here wilding, yeah. This dude out here, I gotta like that. I gotta go ahead and like that, yo. This dude out here wilding you. I probably could have did that about 10 years ago. 10 years ago. Let's see, when I see my human crying, <laughs> can't find me. <laughs> Pathetic. This is how she was be looking at me every day, yo. When she be seeing, she watched me change the litter box, she be looking at me like, yo, look at this dude. Yo. Pick up my shit. She be like, pick up my shit. I swear, I, one day I heard her say, nigga. Uh, under her breath, she's like, pick up my shit, nigga. Anyway, <laughs> all right, so this is um Instagram. Look at that scrolling. Let's see how my day is going to end. All right, I like to get one scroll and then we'll see. I'm trying to let it scroll on something good. I hate to I hate to leave Instagram on a bad note. Okay, we leave on a cat note. That's Instagram. Anyway, overall, okay, overall, look at that smoothness. 550 bucks. Pound for pound, the best Motorola phone to date. Now, this is my second favorite Motorola phone. Of course, number one is the Razer. That sound right there, you know that? That sound, I still love this phone. It's still in my rotation. This phone can still survive right now. But this phone right here, Moto X40, at 500 bucks, as Bob Barker would say, the price is right. Fully water resistant, wireless charge, one of the fastest charging batteries on the market, arguably one of the smoothest experiences that you're gonna get, 165 hertz refresh rate, big beautiful display, that camera looks dope. Motorola is out here winning. Okay, you heard it from me. This is a major, major, major go. Even without the always on display, you still got that peak display. Okay, look, I got some different notifications. Okay, Gmail, Instagram, YouTube, Moto, if y'all watch this video, just give us an option to leave this on. Now, if this did stay on, it would dramatically change the battery performance, but I don't care. That's the point of having a 125 watt fast charge, so this way you can use your phone the way it's meant to be used, like a beast. You can't have a beastly phone without all of the beastly features. Even Apple said, you know what, let's put always on display because people like to have their phone like this at night. You wanna have your phone charging up and you got your always on display. Just like that. People want to have always on displays. Oppo, always on display. This is what people want when you got wireless charge. So Moto, that's the only thing missing to the puzzle. All right? They're figuring out all of the pieces to have the ultimate flagship phone for the ultimate budget phone prices. Actually, not budget phone. Let's say mid-range phone prices because 500 to 700 bucks, that's mid-range phone pricing. This is a flagship phone right here. Make no mistake about it. 550 bucks, Psh, win. I right, one word, win. Anyway, Moto X40, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, Stream Dance is on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat plays a lot. Oh, yeah. Special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter. That's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I'll see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh, yeah. One more thing, I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and pitch in the road. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Spock on the beam up. Energize. Situation where everybody in the
world use technology. And if you get a buy some of that technology, you gotta understand certain things. Subscribe to Flossy Carter. He does reviews of all the latest technology. The iPhones, the iPads, the Galaxies, the Samsungs, whatever the fuck. The Beats by that doctor guy. And he puts his kitty cat in the videos too for you something to look at. You know, I'm an animal lover, so I like that shit. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, the Flossy Carter on the YouTube, the follow button on the Insta face, and the like button on the face look. Because if you don't, we're going to have a fucking problem here. A bad one. Now hit the fucking subscribe button.